What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of What's in Your iPad. This is going to be a really quick episode, about five to ten minutes, only because this app that we're about to do, called Tube AU, is so easy to use. It'll only take a minute to show you. It's super simple, super easy. This is one of the best apps to have for sampling. You can use this app in AUM, Audiobus, Cubasis, pretty much anything, but I'm only going to show you how to use it in Beatmaker 3 because for me, Beatmaker 3 is just the best sampler. And if you're going to use a sampler, you might as well use the best sampler. So I'm just going to show you in Beatmaker 3. So I'm going to open up Beatmaker 3 right now. You're going to go into your bank, the sampler part, and then you're just going to click over here on load audio units and scroll down till you find it and load that. I recommend that you get this app ASAP because I'm surprised that it's still on the Apple Marketplace. I don't think they caught on yet, but this will make your life way easier. So when you used to go get a, a, a sample off of YouTube and you had to go the long way, you had to download it, copy link, download it, then convert it into a, a YouTube converter. Now with this app, you don't have to do any of that. It'll cut your time in half. You just load it up as an audio unit. You're going to play your sample right in here and record it right onto your pad. You can make loops or you could chop it up, throw it in your sampler, chop it up. And you see up top, it'll bring up YouTube. So once you come down here and you find the song you want, I'm just going to use one of my songs. I'm going to search my own name and use one of my songs so that uh, YouTube doesn't hit me with a copyright. Trying to show you guys with another song. All right, so I'm going to go with this one. I'm just going to take the beginning really quick. So you want to come down here, and once you hit start, you want to go back up top and hit play. And once it picks up some sound, it'll start recording automatically. So I'm going to hit start and just play the song. All right, I'm gonna hit stop right there and X out of this and just go back to the sampler. And you see right there, your audio is set right here. Now you can just trim it. I'm gonna trim it real quick. You can just use it as a loop, punch it in right here, and there goes your four bar loop. Or you could come into the sampler and chop it up. I'm just gonna chop it up real quick. And the dope thing about this, you can make your own preset and save this bank for later, bring it into something else. So what I'm going to do is open up a session with some drums on it, 90 BPM drums, since this is what we're playing with, 90 BPM. But I'm going to save this bank first. So you just click here, hold it. You're going to go to save bank, rename it, and then you want to be sure to hit the copy sample and save patterns so that you have the original file. Now I'm going to open up the new session with drums add a bank and I'm going to go over here to my bank presets, load it up and there it is. So it's that easy. This is why I recommend this app because if you're sampling on an iPad, iOS, this will cut your time, your sampling time in half, literally. So again, this is just a quick video, quick episode, because this app is super easy to use. 
Thanks for watching. Hit that like, subscribe, check out WeSampleEverything.com. We got beats, tutorials, some great contests on there, sample packs. Uh, check out What's in Your iPad podcast. We drop episodes on music production, iOS music production weekly. Thanks for watching. Peace.